a homeboy. Uh, this guy basically obliterates his forearms. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of the Darwin Awards. As we like to say in these videos, guns are awesome. Idiots, on the other hand, not so much. When you put the two of those things together, uh, sometimes you end up with the winner of what we call a Darwin Award. A Darwin Award, of course, being the metaphorical award that you win when you remove yourself from the gene pool, as of course the fittest continue to survive. Now these videos, due to the subject matter, are always a little bit of a gamble. Even though the clips that we're going to show you today have been censored if needed, of course, to comply with YouTube guidelines, and are used for the purpose of educating people on proper firearm safety, let's still just hope that this video doesn't result in an angry letter from YouTube. Hey, a letter! I have friends! Oh, that's not a letter, that's a threat. So anyhow, back to idiots with guns. I'm not sure if I could come up with a better title for this first video if I tried. Unsurprisingly, this video comes from TikTok. Okay, so this dude is already flagging the shit out of himself, the camera guy, and anyone else around. And in general, it's just kind of acting like an asshole. Flagging, for those of you who don't know, is a safety violation where you're pointing the muzzle of a firearm at yourself or somebody else. So yeah, dude's already being an idiot. If only someone would come around and put an end to this fatherless behavior. And the police come along and do just that. Okay, so I'm hoping this one was just faked for TikTok for like three reasons. One, I just hope that he's not this stupid. Two, the way he's just kind of swinging that gun around feels a bit exaggerated. Maybe he's just a bit flamboyant. Number three, and this is the biggest one, holy fuck are those cops chill for rolling up on somebody who's just waving a fucking gun around out the window. Like, no guns drawn or even like hands-on guns. That is, assuming cops carry guns wherever this country is. They just casually roll up like, excuse me, sir, we'd like to take a moment to talk to you about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Just goes to show that everybody on social media is a badass until the moped police show up. Now this one is actually user submitted. So thank you to the guy who emailed me this video and said that we could use it. So these are some friends doing some range practice, taking turns drawing from a holster and engaging their target. Sounds good, right? Well, normally yes, but one of these guys ends up Tex Grebnering himself. You remember Tex Grebner? We covered him in the first Darwin Awards video. Oh, it's Tex. I just fucking shot myself. Now that's a video you would have seen had you been a longtime subscriber to the channel. But not to worry, you can fix that right now by subscribing. And if you want to catch these videos when they first come out, go ahead and hit that notification bell. Yeah, the guy draws from his holster, engages the target, goes to reholster, and that's when discharges around into his foot. Now I have to admire everybody's calmness about the situation. I just shot myself in the foot, guys. Did you really? Yeah. Alright, well, first of all, let's get together. Fuck! No pussy little girls screaming and freaking yeah. out, making oh. things worse. And that goes for both genders, by the way. It's just identifying the problem, communicating the problem, and then getting to work. Thankfully, of all the places to get shot, the foot is not the worst. So with any luck, they had a first aid kit on site, and this guy made it out with all of his toes. And maybe from here on, he spends a little bit more time carefully reholstering. Damn! Oh! And now... A staple of Darwin Awards. Middle Eastern celebratory gunfire gone wrong. Now I can tell by the opening frame, this one's gonna go really fucking badly. Now I know in certain parts of the world, there's nothing that says celebration quite like firing a fully automatic AK-47 in the air. Out of all cultural barriers, that one I'm not really one to judge. However, I do have to remind you that bullets do come down. But that's the least of our concern in this particular video. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I have no idea how this little girl did not just orphan herself. In fact, if you slow it down, one of those rounds looks like it goes off directly in line with the camera. Talk about daddy issues. She was like a couple inches from having her dad run out of her life to go to the morgue. You see, AKs don't really have that much recoil, but a lot of recoil is different when you're handing it to an untrained seven-year-old girl and saying, good luck, have fun. That is widely regarded as a bad move. Now, I'm sure whatever it is I just said was very interesting, but you know what I just can't stop thinking about? The fact that some of you right now are watching this video on public Wi-Fi. And if you are, there's a chance you could currently be a victim of what's called a man-in-the-middle attack. It's when you try to connect to some sort of public Wi-Fi, but accidentally connect to somebody's purposely misleading Wi-Fi. So while you think you're just using the coffee shop Wi-Fi, somebody's actively stealing your data. That's where NordVPN comes in. NordVPN has a ton of tools that are meant to handle stuff like this. They can protect you against phishing scams, DDoS, and password attacks, all sorts of stuff. 
Because of their VPN service, you can also get access to content that's only available in other countries. If that's not enough to sweeten the pot, if you use my link down below, you'll have access to an exclusive deal, which of course also comes with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. But if you use my link down below, you'll get access to a huge discount on their two-year plan and an additional four months free. It's a great deal on additional protection, and you should always use protection. So go ahead and go to nordvpn.com forward slash Herrera, or go down to the link in the description and in the pinned comment. We appreciate Nord sponsoring the channel, back to the video. Now for this next clip, I'm fully embracing my boomer tendencies. So I'm gonna show you some millennials ruining things by stunting for clout on social media. So here we have a guy at a public range shooting a handgun. But first, gotta take a couple selfies for the gram. Already he's pointing the gun at the camera and then kind of his own, I don't know, collarbone area, which is already just fucking cringe. It's okay, you don't have anything in your shoulder that likes to bleed anyway. But after that, he does the logical thing and points it at his buddy's fucking face. His buddy's just like, dude, I'm trying to load magazines over here. I don't care how long I've known you, you point a gun to my fucking head, it's on, you're getting at bare minimum an ass beating. Luckily, the RSO, or range safety officer, sees this, quickly jumps into action, and takes control of the firearm. It looks like he then boots them off the range, which I hope at bare minimum he did that, as well as give them the ass chewing of a lifetime. Now's a pretty good time to go over the four basic rules of firearm safety, I think. You treat every weapon as if it is loaded. You never point a firearm at anything you're not willing to destroy, including, at least theoretically, yourself and your friends. You know your target and what's behind it, and you keep your finger off of the trigger until you are ready to shoot. If I can sear nothing else about firearms into your brain, remember those four things, and you'll likely be okay. Honestly, douchebags like this are why when I'm teaching somebody about guns at the range for the first time, I prefer them to actually be a little bit afraid of the gun. You and I know that guns are nothing to be afraid of, but at least if somebody's got a little bit of apprehension or fear about a gun, it shows that they respect it and they're not gonna treat it like a toy. I fucking hate it when people have shot a gun like once in their life at grandpa's when they were a kid, but then they feel like they have to be this badass and show you that they know everything about guns when they really have no clue. You're not impressing anyone. That is my least favorite kind of student. Frankly, I just won't fucking do it. But of course, now that I say that, sometimes being afraid of the gun can lead to some scary situations too. So here we have a video that looks straight out of Live Leak. It's a girl shooting a gun for what I'm assuming is the first time given how her ear pro look and the fact that that gun is angled like she's trying to assassinate the ceiling. Now she fires the guns, she tenses up, her ear pro falls off. Yeah, and then that happens, yeah. She starts waving the gun around, uh, puts it up next to her head to try to cover her ears, I guess. If she is this inexperienced with firearms, she really should have an instructor there with her. If you think guns are that scary, just point it at the target. Just wait until you realize how scary they can be being swung around and then pointed near your brain basket. And if other people are still around her shooting and she thinks she's doing, you know, hearing damage or something, the damage being done to your ears by not having proper hearing protection is nothing compared to the damage a 115 grain 9mm projectile can do. Take the extra half second, put, put the gun down first. Now, if you're new here, at this point you might be thinking, well, this is why only trained police should have guns. Well, just wait till you see this next clip. Here we have an Indian, I think, cop, security guard, I don't know, the captions on these videos are almost always wrong and I am shit at GeoGuessr. But yeah, if you can't tell, Homie is straight up resting his arms on the barrel of his shotgun. Now this is Darwin Awards and I can almost feel that live leak logo popping up so you know where this is going. A homeboy, ah, fuck. This guy basically obliterates his forearms. He gets a two for one special on reconstructive surgery. Now, after the censorship, I don't know how much you were able to see. Sorry, Delance, for making you watch that clip. But this gentleman now has two fresh new elbows and is leaving a trail of blood behind him as he's walking away to presumably get first aid. What's fucking horrible, well, I mean, I guess, aside from the obvious, when he tries to grab his limp fucked up arm with his other limp fucked up arm, my mind immediately went, Open Gangnam Style. I know I'm going to hell. And if you're still watching, I'll see you there. Anyhow, on to our next clip. And this one actually did, when I saw this for the first time, this was a this was a holy shit video for me. So here we have a bush, I mean, camouflaged gentleman, celebrating the great American pastime of trying to murder the shit out of Bambi. <laughs> While in the middle of what I can only assume is him sitting there thinking of his favorite venison recipes, a shot rings out and our poor lad receives the spicy butt cheek. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. 
I hate to state the obvious, but that looked like it fucking hurt. You can obviously see where the bullet hits, where his, his pants shake a little bit. That bullet had a little bit of ass behind it, even after going through a little bit of ass. This guy, I legit feel a little bad for. This guy didn't do anything wrong, unless you want to say like, oh, he wasn't wearing orange or some shit. But I'm not one to victim blame. Especially when the fault lies on some random asshole that's just shooting anything that moves without properly identifying his target. Like we said, one of the four basic rules of gun safety, know your target and what's behind it. Unless your target is intentionally the ass of some kid, unless these guys are violent poachers or some shit and the assailant was a sniper Chris Kyling these assholes. Yeah, Occam's Razor says these guys were probably just hunters and some asshole decided to vibe check this homie's thigh. So now it's time to finally name our Darwin Award winner. And this one was actually so big that it made it to international news. And you guys proceeded to flood my inbox with it. So here we go. This one brings us halfway across the world over to Poland. So apparently the commander in chief of the Polish police, a man by the name of General Jaroslaw, wow, that is not a real fucking name. Poland, ugly American here. I'm just gonna call him the general. So the general crossed the border over to Ukraine to visit and take a couple meetings, talk about supporting them and such, and came home with a rather unique gift. What was said gift? A decommissioned grenade launcher. Look, I know where this is going. You know where this is going. So let's just get to the chase. The general returned to Poland with his shiny new gift and immediately discharged it in his office, setting off a massive explosion. Now, the Ukrainians and the general both swore up and down that this grenade was just a tube, it was inert, unfireable, what have you. The explosion, however, determined that that was a lie. Now, here's the fucking weird part. Believe it or not, somehow, this guy managed to survive because Poles are just fucking built different, I guess. That, that's all I got. But Brandon, if he survived, how does that make it a Darwin Award? Well, because the Polish foreign minister literally called it one by name. Quote, it is true we will not win the World Cup, but thanks to the commander at Polish police, we are a favorite for the Darwin Award. That is a real tweet from Poland's former foreign minister. Well, Mr. Sikorsky, I would hate to disappoint you. I deem the general the winner of this episode's Darwin Awards. Which relates back around to one of the rules of gun safety and apparently grenade launcher safety. Treat every gun and or grenade launcher as if it is loaded. At least check it. A little bit of the old Reagan saying, trust but verify. Hopefully you found this episode of Darwin Awards entertaining slash educational. Be sure to check them out if you haven't before. We've got a playlist down in the description where you can check out all the previous episodes of the Darwin Awards, including the ones that have been age restricted. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to see episodes of this before they get hit by the YouTube PP hammer. I appreciate you watching to the end. And as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome to another fuck. <laughs> right out the gate. Great. This one brings us halfway. What the fuck was I doing with my hand there? What what gesture was that?